those are concerns that are being echoed right here at home. Israeli and Palestinian supporters gathered separately in the Baltimore area tonight, showing different but strong support for the warring sides. 11 News reporter George Lettuce was at both events. He joins us live in the studio with more. George? Stan, an Israeli diplomat spoke in Owings Mills about the so-called human shield strategy of Hamas, while protesters downtown berated America's support of Israel. Baltimore's Jewish community showed its solidarity tonight with Israel as its war with Hamas continues. Oren Marmerstein with the Israeli embassy just returned from Israel and says the gap between how the American public understands the situation and what's happening over there is wide. He says Hamas orders people to not evacuate before an Israeli strike. Hamas is trying to increase casualties also among the Palestinians. It has a very ugly name to this strategy and a very ugly nature. It's called dead baby strategy. A modest group of pro-Palestinian protesters tonight at the Inner Harbor had a much different view of the conflict. Israel has bombs, nuclear weapons furnished to them by the United States and my tax dollars, which are paying for that, while children in this country go hungry, don't have any places to live. They're going to give money to Israel to, to, to bomb women and children. I'm making the analogy of kids throwing rocks against somebody using a gun. I mean, yes, Hamas is shooting rockets over as more of an act of defiance. Um, and if you're an occupied people, you have a right to resist. But Israel supporters like Senator Ben Cardin say it's Israel who is defending itself from rockets Hamas has been firing for weeks. Palestinians and Israelis want to live in peace. There's going to be a Jewish state, there's going to be a Palestinian state. Let's get on with the negotiations. It's difficult when one side picks as its partner Hamas, a terrorist organization. Now, back to tonight's ceasefire attempt in Cairo. The Associated Press is reporting Hamas's top leader before any truce is called wants a guarantee that Israel and Egypt will significantly ease a seven year border blockade of Gaza. In the studio, George Lettuce, WBAL TV 11 News.